So discipline a bit of a problem in this match so far. They are on such a roll right now. It'll take something incredible to stop them. Otago with the lead and they're underway here in the second half. Kickoff dragged down by the right winger. Dixon passes short. The 5-8 makes a good burst. Lynn takes him down. Still there, I think, for Otago. Pass goes to Grant. Popoliton takes it over the halfway line. They have plenty, force him out. How claims the ball. Got it off to the scrum half. And it's been well anticipated. Tanaka turns it back on the inside. And that's been lost forward. Advantage was being played, so back for the scrum. And they'll go to a scrum. There's some definite power going on in the scrums. Otago, good hit. The ball is out, collected by the number nine. The scrums look pretty good tonight. They get him this time. It's there. Delivers the ball to Latimer. Bay of Plenty go inside the 22. Bay of Plenty still have it. Feeds it off to the number 14. Burst out of the first one. Little kick and chase. Popoliti anticipates well. Otago carry it into touch. Second rower is the target. And he's too strong for Thompson. Number eight, walked down close to the line. Anybody's ball here. Turnover. Tanaka, it was good work from him, which then created the turnover. And he thumps it straight down to McDonald. He scoops ahead. He's broken the tackle apart. Number six, it's inside the 22. And this time he's taken. They take their time getting there. Throws it on for McDonald's. And just a flat ball there by the loose head pro. Here's an intercept. Dixon forced back in the tackle. Advantage gone now. Now the scrum to pack. Bay of Plenty got a good shove on there. Both teams putting pressure on. Tanaka picks up. Halfback takes the ball. Burley unable to hold him. Here's Danger, the right winger with a good burst. They bring him down in the end. Possible turnover here. They've turned it over beautifully done. Scrum half is the one I think who turned it over eventually for Bay of Plenty. Still there, I think, for Bay of Plenty. Gets it off to the number one. On it. Not quite so easy to put away. And he's out of the tackle. The right winger charges forward. They might still have it. It's the offload away. Perrin still going. Well contained. Now, here they come. Throws it on for Knights. The ball lost behind. Yeah, it was a bit of a fumble. But they were on it like three slots. The front runner makes the tackle. He's missed by Papaliti. Breaks through. The open side flanker running hard. Here's a penalty. Well, it looked high to me, and the ref agreed too. I think he's lucky to get away with just the penalty. So they'll look for touch. And it's in touch. They'll have a line out, 10 metres out. They have a chance here. They may look to go to a set piece. 
It's not the best line out. In fact, it's lost. Pops it to Pucker. Got through the first tackle. Here goes the right winger. They'll bring him down in the end. And they're a bit slow to get there, but here they come. They've turned it. The scrum half picks it out of the back. Good offload by Heron. Short pass here. Masanga stretching out. And he's tackled into touch. Otago get the line-out feed. Bay of Plenty get one against the throw. With a little flick to Wilson. Breaks the tackle and pushes on. He goes for the line. He's offloaded. The number eight crashes and scores. <laughs> that was the pass that set him up, and he ran onto it very well. An easy kick now for Noakes. And the flags are up. The score now 28 points to 14. So, they're still well in this game on the scoreboard as well. Kickoff made by Pucker. Waiting for it is Knucks. Heron goes with a cutout pass. Thompson shows good technique in the tackle. And they're taking their time here. Otago have stolen this. That pass finds Franklin. The number 14 puts the foot down. Not a good decision to try and offload there. Collins moves it back. The number 15 knocked it on. He possibly just took his eye off the ball slightly and then just knocked it on. Here's the scrum. Scrum time seems to be a real battle for both sides tonight. There's some definite power going on in the scrums. They have plenty. Good hit. Good contest going on in the scrum. They look pretty pleased with themselves as well after that particular scrum. Oh, he's got away. The number 14 looking for some sort of support. He's tackled there but made good ground. Good turnover ball. Just a misunderstanding and that's where the turnover comes. Papa Leeton has it under control. Oh, that's a shock. Grant dives all over it. It's a good, powerful kick downfield. And bounces nicely into touch. Latimer takes it down. I think it was a very good line out. Good execution from number seven. The halfback picks and goes. And this guy gets close to the line. Don't have enough players there. Heron gets the ball away. The front rower runs it out from his own line. Great turnover for Kotago. It's already a big issue. Try! And they pick up their fifth. And we're ready for the conversion attempt. The 5'8 goes through his routine of lining up the kick. This one off. He struck it well and looks pretty useful. Successful conversion, 35 points to 14. Yeah, he's striking the ball really well. Parker did very well in the lead up to those points. And it's a short kickoff. That short kickoff has given his team the chance to dispute possession. That's an off on. That's advantage for Bay of Plenty. He'll be disappointed with himself for knocking that on. Maybe they've got greasy hands. It wouldn't surprise me with the error rate as high as it is. Oh, that's good from Bay of Plenty. Good, strong hit. Furious looking scrum down there. A brutal contest in the scrum. They've turned it over. Beautifully done. Tanaka picks up. Pressure in the scrum, that's what happens. Just not working for Bay of Plenty. Otago just getting numbers to the ball now. Back it goes now for Knokes. 
tackle by Franklin. They've turned it over. Beautifully done. Well, there's a lot of work for them to do to try and tidy this game up. They've turned the ball over far too often. The number 14 puts the pedal to the middle. We're in the last few minutes now. That's the halfway line. The number nine taken into touch. And they'll take the line out. The second rower takes it nicely. Cut out pass to the number 13. Oh, lost forward, I think. Yes, it was. Playing advantage. You're right, Miss Hope. His handling is something to be desired there. Well, you can't blame the weather for the handling errors. But it is a big issue for this guy. A halfback with a running opportunity again. Bay of Plenty have numbers at the breakdown. Powell gets it away. It's been brought back for the scrum. It's going to be a scrum. The final whistle is almost upon us. Otago looking to get the upper hand. And a good battle going on here. The ball is out, collected by the number nine. They have picked a good spot tonight, no doubt about it. It's a penalty. Well, I think there might be a yellow card for someone here. Bay of Plenty, off to run this. Notes, very nimble on his feet there. He got away briefly, but was dragged down. Now the numbers turn up. Passes for Burley. Back to Plin. Steps away from the tackle of Ellison. His run has taken him right to the try line here. And they're a bit slow to get there, but here they come. The scrum half charges towards the try line. Wilson gets his second. Well, the pass, how brilliant was that? And a superb finish. Excellent try. Notes lines this one up. No goal. Scores remain as they were. Well, it wasn't an easy kick, but the ability to get those ones can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing. And they jump in the air, Otago. Back 